Eric Marciano is surprisingly humble about it. He was driving in downtown Montreal when he saw a police chase unfold in front of him. What he did next no doubt saved lives. If you hadn't been there in that moment and done that, what do you think could have happened? I don't know. I don't... I'd rather not think about it. <laughs> this is where Eric Marciano was yesterday at the corner of René Lévesque and Saint-Denis. He saw the car make a U-turn up ahead of him and then come speeding back towards him. That's when he made the split-second decision to swerve his car and protect the pedestrians. And it was really a lot of construction workers and pedestrians, so I figured... I mean, I, I, I made some noise, I honked, and uh, I just turned really quickly and blocked his passage. This was the aftermath. His car ended up colliding with a taxi as well. Marciano says he wasn't thinking of his own safety. It didn't, it didn't cross my mind. I have, he had a little, little Honda, no offense, <laughs> and I had a pretty big truck, so it was really not much risk. By now, most of Montreal has heard the story, including Marciano's insurer, who said he wouldn't have to pay the deductible. They passed me straight to a supervisor and they were aware of the situation and uh, they were very uh, thankful, I guess. The mayor shared her gratitude as well. I find it amazing that uh, he did this, this move, crushed his car in order to save uh, people's life, possibly people's life. So it's, it, is, it is great. So I thank him. At the Montreal courthouse today, the 19-year-old driver pleaded not guilty to seven charges, including impaired driving, driving a stolen vehicle, and driving with a suspended license. His mother thanked Marciano. She says it could have been much worse. She says for years she's been trying to get help for her son, who has mental health issues. Marciano didn't expect so much attention. He says he just did what felt right. I was there and I did what I had to do. Jayla Bernstein, CBC News, Montreal.